everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube, and I thought today we would revisit Ghostbusters the video game. More importantly, a really fun glitch that you can do in both the original release as well the remaster. Now this glitch can be found on the Times Square level in the chapter Shadows of the Stay Puffed, and it will allow you to gain access to a portion of the map that you're not supposed to get to. Now immediately when this chapter begins, you're going to see the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in front of you, and what you're going to want to do is go ahead, turn around, and head on over to this green and white car. You're going to see a bunch of debris on the left hand side, and you're then going to try and run up on that debris, and then jump over to the top of the car. It may take a couple tries, but you'll get there. Now the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man will begin to throw marshmallow minions at both you and Ray, and eventually he's going to huck a flaming marshmallow at you on top of the car. Now what you want to do is kind of walk backwards, almost moonwalk on top of that vehicle. And then when that flaming ball of marshmallow hits, you'll be on a slightly higher plateau. Once you get up and regain your composure, walk directly to this pile of rubble. Do not deviate left or right, it's going to screw it up if you do. As soon as you can't walk any further, slightly turn right. From there you're going to see another pile of rubble in front of you, and then go ahead and jump forward. And now go ahead and walk in the direction of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. You'll come across two big mounds of marshmallow on the ground, and for these you don't have to worry about whatsoever because you can actually walk through them. Hang to the left of the taxi cab. You'll then see another pile of debris, and this time around you can just walk directly on top of it, no jumping required. And at about this time, Stay Puft is actually going to start hurling marshmallow at you. If you do wind up falling and you're in need of a medic, don't worry, as Ray will strangely revive you despite not being anywhere near you. Walk a little further and once again you'll be in an area that you're not supposed to be. And that is going to become ever so evident as we roam around here. As a lot of the image work, the graphic files appear to be pretty rough, as seen here on this marquee. Oh, I should also mention that this is the same building that is used later in this chapter, where both you and Ray take the elevator. All full, going up. Uh, he uh, just passed gas. Catch the next one. Relax, sir. We handle foul vapors all the time. Now, as we continue walking around here, there's not really too much to see. We have some stories being made up of the same image files. As well, walking over to the edge here, you will notice there's actually no ground whatsoever. Meaning if I walk a little further, well, I'm going to fall into that, and I don't want that to happen. Now, as you're taking a look at here, some of the walls within this area, there's no actual distinctive values attached to them, so you can walk right through some of them. Now coming up here, we've got some pretty cool advertisements. On the left hand side, you can see two for a toy store. As well on the right, we've got this one for Stay Puffed Marshmallows. And I'm actually really surprised this advertisement doesn't get more of like an actual showing in the video game. We've also got some pretty rough looking storefronts here. And I'm not too sure if the images they used here for the textures were taken by the crew of Ghostbusters the video game. Or maybe they lifted them from like online, like Google Maps. Or maybe they're just from a stock website. But clearly, once again, something you're not really supposed to see close up like we're doing here today. Now, as we kind of continue down here, you will see that the street does become much darker. Uh, if I continue walking and I actually walk onto that dark street, I'm once again going to fall through the level. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Now, typically any object that you can usually interact with, you can actually interact with here as well. Despite, once again, this is a portion of the map you're not supposed to be at. Case in point, these garbage bags. Oh, and look at that, a marshmallow minion also found its way over to me. Now taking a look at the other side of the map here, this building's location clearly makes no sense whatsoever. And as I showed you earlier, a lot of these buildings you can just walk through. Now if any time you want to return to the main game, you know, the actual campaign, and get out of this area, it's really easy to do so. All you gotta do is just shoot the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man with a couple of boson darts. Following that, a cutscene will play, and once again, you'll be back into the campaign. Now, I used to do this glitch all the time when Ghostbusters the video game first came out, and I'm glad to see they didn't fix it in the remastered edition. Speaking of that, there's several other glitches found both in the original game and the remaster. If you'd like me to kind of make this a video series, I can certainly show you those here on the Ghostbusters news channel. Just be sure to comment down below and let me know. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.